Alright, video on the Inmendum channel, I believe. The update channel, update video, I mean. Um, the first thing I want to mention was the uh, gray guy. Gray chow chow, chow chow, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, he did it on one of those videos, you know, with the music and the. He put visuals uh, behind it and really good. <laughs> you know, spooky good. Um, yes, yeah, gave me the. Gave me a little tiny bit of a creep. Um, you know, it was me talking. Um, but anyway, really, yeah, the best so far, I'd have to say. I mean, just really good stuff. So, uh, post a link to that. Um, alright, so yeah, there's a ton of videos on the Doom Gloom channel. Still arguing through this, uh, anti-natalism stuff, this anti-imps position stuff, this quit perpetuating the silly game stuff. And it's all about how to... Um, point you know these thought experiments it's just kind of funny you know to, to be serious made a video um, and she brought up the guy who wrote the book David Benatar and a thought experiment in his book one of them and uh, she denied to answer it she changed the circumstances in it um, and now she's basically saying she won't answer another one um, she, it's like she's invalidating thought experiments, so why even reference them if you're going to invalidate them, uh, basically? You're just going to say they have no value, you won't engage in it, um, you won't pretend that that's a reality. And on top of that, she completely perverted the one I threw back at her, which was initiating a planet with um, 7 billion David Merricks. And she turned that into blowing up the planet. I mean, I clearly say in my video, it's a start button. Would you press the start button? Uh, so again, it's just people can't even get the argument right. And that's what so much of this is about. Is you have to keep on re-arguing these premises. And uh, this is really a big problem with uh, Great Tex and Pyro, especially. Um, you know, you have to get certain concessions. If people aren't going to concede, that when they decide to have children, they're imposing a risk on a new consciousness. You know, there's, there's really no conversation. The, they, they can argue that it's a, worth, a risk worth taking. Make that argument. That they have the authority to gamble with somebody else's money because they're going to do it so well. And there's such a guarantee of a profit. But don't pretend that you're not gambling with somebody else's welfare. I mean, it's just nonsense. Uh, and that's one point of this argument. The other point is, is that the fact is there's no, you know, the human race is not doing anything that satisfies any fundamental need within the universe. If the universe was stone cold quiet, it wouldn't be a negative state of being. If it was in pain, it certainly would be a negative state of being. And if it was in pleasure, Okay, it's better than being in pain, and uh, but it's not realistically an improvement over nothing because there's in the nothing state you have everything because you don't have any deprivation. So if you're not in need of the pleasure, essentially, uh, it can't mean anything. But anyway, I don't want to get into all the arguments. Uh, but yeah, this whole conversation does have to get pointed a little better. Um, it, because it is problematic. Uh, you know, Fred just made a video that was kind of obscure. Um, I haven't listened to the whole thing yet, so maybe it sums it up. Uh, maybe it goes somewhere that doesn't seem apparent. Um, but yeah, this, this human experiment is a human... It, it just doesn't... It's part of this natural experiment. That's the design that we're based on. And we still have that in our structure. And these people just keep trying to, in a sense, in my opinion, just deny that truth. Um, that we're really not accomplishing anything more dramatic than what a crocodile is accomplishing. Um, we're doing it in a fancier way. We're wearing a better suit. <laughs> we're not as overtly uh, disgusting. Um, but yeah, we're disgusting. Uh, where else do I want to go? Uh, yeah, well, maybe I'll keep this short, cut you a break, because there are about 10 million hours of video. So the gray video is really good. I mean, it really does, doesn't say everything, but it certainly says enough about the basic design flaw 
and what you can expect if you're a, a logical person looking at the world um, yeah you can see the waste you can see that there's no intelligent design it's just a DNA molecule uh, you know using us using all these instruments uh, to propel the reproduction engine and that's all that's happening here it's a momentum game once it's initiated the radioactivity just keeps spreading until it runs out of fuel and that's all that's really taking place uh, yeah that's probably enough seems like there should be other news uh, yeah, who cares? <laughs> yeah, there is. Who cares? Uh, I'm just very fatigued. <sighs> Not a videos. Life is fucked up. Whatever. So till the next time. And uh, such. Yeah. Damn, I really thought there was something else. No, oh, fuck it. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah, I did block a couple of people, just to let you know that I blocked you, uh, fuckers. Uh, yeah, some guy was pointing out how Merrick's life was so great. Uh, John Merrick. It was just such a joke. <laughs> I mean, Jesus, you know, these people. I mean, what, do I actually have to wish it on you? I mean, fucking A. Oh, yeah, it's no problem. Go ahead. Give me a bunch of painful, distorting tumors and suffocate me with my own saliva. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, you're insane, motherfuckers. <laughs> These people just give me the... They totally creep me out. Uh, and other putz balls have stupid names like Cunt Slime or something. And you're just saying, I'm just going to start blocking. You've got an asshole's name. If you're using a screen name like Cunt Slime, fuck you. Just, just go away, asshole.